Hello and welcome to today's tidings. I'm your host, Joyce Tumia. My guest today is Steve Accardo, and he has been on the show before, but it's been a while, so we're going to have him start out by sharing some basic background information. Steve is a guitar player and a singer-songwriter and a teacher, and those are some basics on which you can expand. Yes, I've been teaching for over like 25 years. Wow. Yeah, I teach all styles and beginners through advanced. I've got kids like seven years old up to 60. Oh my gosh. So yeah, different styles okay. I teach, like rock, blues, and jazz, mm -hmm. and classical stuff. Okay. And I also write music. Mm -hmm. I've written um, a lot of different styles of music, rock, and some, you know, I know for a while you were focusing on children's songs. Yeah, I wrote a children's CD called mm -hmm. Happy Fun Day. That did pretty well. It was fun. Okay. And, and uh, I also play out, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, daycares. I do some fests. I played, um, I'm a teacher at Little People in Downers oh. Grove. Oh, Cute. really? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, all the kids, they just love it. They, mm -hmm. And I teach them how, what a chord is, the difference mm -hmm. between chord and note, uh, classical stuff and rock, mm -hmm. and they know. Those, okay. They're really smart. So you cool. are very experienced, and you've played with groups as well, and you've yes. got students who are making a name for themselves. Yes. You I mentioned. Have, yeah, I've got um, one student that's actually playing the House of Blues. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one impressive. It's an elbow room down in Chicago. He's in a band. Mm -hmm. And um, it, he's doing pretty good. He's a bass player. He started off okay. playing guitar, and then he went to bass. Mm -hmm. So that, that okay. was good. Well, then, with all of this experience, there's a lot you can share with our viewers here on basic things like what kind of guitar might be more suitable to a particular person or how you how you determine what to look for in a guitar if you're buying a new or used guitar um, the differences between electric and acoustic other than the fact that you have to plug one plug in and in. you don't yeah. have to plug the other one in well and if you're if you're interested where do we begin yeah the guitar actually to buy a guitar mm -hmm. you, you want to have it e you know the action to be Low, so it's easy to play. Well, explain you what know. you mean by that. Right well, it's off like the, the, you know, the, the distance to be low. between the strings and the frets. And the frets is the that's the yeah, board these underneath are the, the strings. Yeah, these the are the strings. metal bands. These are the strings. Okay, and well, then, I do know the strings. And then, yeah, and then these, <laughs> see, like this is easy to play. Okay. And it's into the neck. You want the neck to be, you know, comfortable. Actually, is the word. Just comfortable. What makes Everybody's it comfortable? Different. How big a hand? How, you know, you how big a hand okay. you have? You know. Okay, because so, it can be narrower or wider. Yes. Right. And uh, like this, this guitar is a Gibson ES-175. Okay. So it's a hollow, it's electric guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, it, it sounds, it sounds full. Like if I played, um, I'll play a piece, let's see. And I know there are six string and 12 string, and a 12 string would have a very full sound because it's yes. double the strings, but you can still get a full sound with a six string. Yes, yes. Okay. And 12 string is cool, but you can't really play any like solos on it. You know, it's okay. more like for chords. Okay. Like this guitar is actually, you could play like, I'll play a little piece. Okay. That's a classical piece. Okay. But it sounds cool. Was that by? Nobody knows. He didn't put his name on it. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's over 100 years old, though. Really? Yeah. And this is a piece I actually wrote. Okay. Um, A little like piece, that. little piece. That's very thing. nice. That's part, part of a bigger piece. Though. Yeah, it keeps on going. Okay, <laughs> so what that's kind a of a piece is that? I mean, would, you said that's, it's classical. That's but sort of like classical style that I wrote. That thing. Okay, so with, I mean, I heard some phrases like cantata and so on. Yeah, but that was basically well. well let's just call it an, uh, study in A minor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have a name for it, so. I should yeah. come up with one. It's a very lovely piece. Well, thanks. Okay, so you really are versatile. Good grief. Thanks. Yeah. What about one of your children's songs, as long as you're playing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't mean to keep going back to that. No, it was I, just kind of establishing yeah, written, um, a baseline, I think. Well, like, um, 
you know, we've got a lot of songs on the album. Mm -hmm. HappyFunDay.net, that's where you can mm -hmm. hear them. Okay. Like Billy the Bumblebee and... Okay, and you <laughs> wrote lyrics fun. for them, obviously. Yeah, I wrote okay. all the words and I played all the instruments. Mm -hmm. And this and is preschool level or yeah, like into kindergarten and first grade? Yeah, four, okay. like three, well actually probably three to eight-year-olds, okay. nine-year-olds. Okay. You know, so... Um, that was fun. So they're probably good pieces to use with beginner students of that age. Yes, yes. Well, what's the best age, if there is a best age, for a child to begin playing guitar? I mean, I know I, you can get smaller guitars. Yeah, that I would, would say seven. Seven? Around like that first age. first grade? Okay. Yeah. Because anything younger than it, it's hard for them to actually press down. Okay. But when I wrote that children's CD, I actually wanted to write it so like the adults would like it. Uh -huh. So that's what kept, I kept it in my brain. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have it, you know, it took me about a year to do that. Mm. So I was produced it all, I played it mm -hmm. all, you know, recorded in my studio. Mm -hmm. Well, so I haven't listened to it recently, but yeah. I know that when I did hear it before, I, I liked it. It was oh, really? very nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It was very good. So Thanks. I think you succeeded <laughs> Thank you. based on me and <laughs> other comments. Thanks. Um, so if you have a seven-year-old starting to play, do you advise an acoustic guitar over an electric guitar because acoustic is supposed to be easier? And how many different sizes do guitars come in? I think around three. There's like three? the real small, yeah, okay. then medium, then a normal All right. size. Probably um, an acoustic guitar. All right. You know? And like I said, make sure that it's really easy for them to play. Mm -hmm. And when they're starting out, they have to play like really simple chords, like one finger for the chord. Like this is a G chord, you know? That's a G okay. chord. <laughs> yeah. Just in melodies and stuff like that, and keep it kind of simple when they're young. And would they Make use a pick? Yes. Okay. Well, I could teach them when they're young like that with a pick is good. Then eventually, okay. if they want to get into classical, that's no pick, you know, the f you know fingering. Stuff. Classical is no pick. Yeah. Hmm. And I like um, this one. I'm going to play a little piece for you. For this, now this guitar is pretty flexible, versatile. Mm -hmm. So, um, like if I played. It's like a, a blues type of piece that okay. Eric Clapton played that one. Did Eric Clapton write that one? I don't think he wrote that. Okay. <laughs> but you didn't. But, yeah, I didn't write that okay. one. Okay, just make sure you tell us which around. things are yours and which aren't, yeah. just in case we don't recognize. I mean, that, that, that sounded a, familiar, but what do I Yeah, it's okay. moving. That was really That's bouncy. Cool. I mean, yeah. that definitely made me think of people in Western attire. Not exactly country and Western, but like barn dance or something. Yeah. You know, yeah, like that's swirling style. around the floor and really making the, the dresses swirl. Yeah. Okay. It's like variety, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. And um, like even, <laughs> if you want, to, you want to hear something? Sure. How about this little piece? Let's see. Um, you should tell us about amps, too. <laughs> yeah, this is a great little amp. What all can it oh, do? Oh, gosh. Different sounds. Different sounds. Rock. Mm -hmm. I can get a rock sound on this one. Make sure it's not too loud. <laughs> So like that song? You know they start screaming on that uh -huh. one. The, but yeah, the rock sound. I like that. Mm -hmm. Like or yeah. Gotta be good. Yeah, very nice. Oh, wow. You get different sounds on this thing. Okay, so I bet a lot of the little cool. kids really want to start with electric guitar when they can do all these cool things. Huh? Yeah. I bet they do. Yeah. Hmm. But then you got to be careful with the distortion and all. Uh -huh. You know, the amp. You know, as long as it's not you know too loud. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still a, better to start with an acoustic guitar because it's easier to learn. Um, yeah, well, the, and if the, the it's string, hard for them, they'll get frustrated and give up, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes um, the electric is, well, because they, they actually, the strings on the electric might be a little easier to press down. But it depends on the, on the instrument. It really does. Okay. And what kind of advice do you have for parents in promoting guitar, for instance, as opposed, not that you're going to say guitar as opposed to piano or something, but why is it good for a kid to learn guitar? Or an adult, anybody, because we don't want to just focus on the kids. Why is, why is well, guitar it's, a good it's instrument cool. to learn? <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool. It's, I'll yeah, agree with that. It's portable. And it portable, can take it, it bring yeah. it to places. And yeah. versatile. You know, okay. you play like rock, you play blues, you can play jazz, you know, okay. country. Well, and you can on a piano, too. I can't quite picture the rock, rock on a yeah, flute, rock. maybe. Yeah, yeah. But piano, yeah, piano, you can play rock stuff yeah, on there, too. Yeah, but pianos are not as portable. Yeah, even, that's true, too. Even the keyboards that's are true. maybe. I don't know. I, I, then it's not a piano. I've always liked the different variety that you can get. Okay. I mean, it's really It's cool. a nice sound. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And what should parents look for in choosing a teacher? Well, that he's patient, that okay. he's caring, that he really wants them to learn. Or she. Mm -hmm. He or she, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, somebody that's flexible with scheduling, you mm -hmm. know, okay. that's important too. Right, kids' schedules I know. often need to be changed I know. because of events that come up. Yes. Okay. And they should probably check out several different people. Yes, like maybe the students. Because personality. Personality is okay. important, you know. Mm -hmm be, ha you know, fun, mm -hmm. you know, keep it fun. Mm -hmm. That's important, too. Okay. And so While you've you're been teaching, you said for 20, 25 Gosh, years? I made 28 wow. years. Private, 28 yeah, years. Guitar and bass lessons. Wow. I've taught, you know, I was in Purdoms. Purdoms, remember Purdoms and LaGrange? For years. Vaguely. Yeah. Okay. I taught there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I just decided to teach, you know, mm -hmm. have a studio, teaching studio. Okay. So... so and and I offer a free lesson, the very like first lesson. Like a free lesson. introductory yeah, lesson? Yeah. Well, that's that. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It always gets motivated to mm -hmm. come in. Mm -hmm. Some of my st I have got a couple students from um, that play out a lot. I tell you about that. Mm -hmm. and play out means they like get they, They're in bands. Bookings. They, yeah, they get bookings. Gigs, Gigs right. yeah. Which is okay. cool. I don't no. know all the hip terminology here. <laughs> play out. Yeah. You know, play. I know bleed out, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> play out. <No. laughs> yeah, like gigs okay. and stuff okay. like that. They call them gigs. Uh, okay, that I, yeah, I, I, I'd heard the term gigs. Yeah, so that's fun, you know. Okay. I actually play out too. I play gigs. That's okay. You can say play out now that I know what it means. <laughs> I play like, um, you know, dinner music for weddings and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I would think with your versatility that you would be in yeah, great demand. Just background yeah. stuff, you know, like. Okay. And also. Um, do you do it with other people? I mean, are, do you often get called like to fill in for a group who might have a guitar Once in a while. who can't make it that yeah. particular time or something? I could do that. Right. I've done mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And um, but I'll play like you know like jazz stuff. And, mm -hmm. um, I could show you a little jazz piece like on here. Sure, I love the variety. The variety. Yeah, That's this really is like cool. a um, this is a chord melody. Now see if you know this one. Oh, there were bells in the hill. I'd almost sing. Until there was you. Yeah, nice. that's there were it. Bells on the hill. Hill. And that's Point a chord melody because you're playing the okay. melody. This is the mm -hmm. melody, mm -hmm. but you're throwing in cho chords with the melody. Okay. So I like doing that, making up my own arrangements. Okay. So, sort of my so it's easier for a student to play when they're playing the melody as well as the chords. Yeah, that's a little more advanced. Or easier to sing with. It's easier to sing with. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like if you played, um, like a beginner might want to go, like if you were doing a song mm. like, um, let's see, any, any song you think about, just to put a melody in there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you just play the notes, you know. Or the song. 
Now that's relatively okay. easy. That's Is just it? Okay. yeah. Okay. Now if you're playing a little rougher, because mm -hmm. they're bar chords. Mm -hmm. Bar chords are when you play, you put your finger over all of them. You should probably add songwriting teacher to your list. Because with the songs you've written and the fact that you improvise so much, you would probably be a very good oh, to try to person help people, to help people write their own songs. I actually do yeah. that. Well, there you go. I do that. We yeah. forgot to list that before because I didn't know that. <laughs> I have some students come in and go, I wrote a song. I, go, I want to hear it. Let me hear okay. it. Okay. The biggest thing is the melody, I think. Ah. The melody. Mm -hmm. And they have good, good melodies. The mm -hmm. chords, you know, and then you throw the words in. Mm -hmm. Usually when a person writes, they have the melody first. Did you know that? Well, that's I do Usually the words the first and the words suggest a melody, but I was told that you, it, one should get to the point where you have the chords with the melody, not just the melody. Right, chords. You and need chords. Yeah, you need the chords, chords and the melody yeah. together. Yeah. Then you can throw in the words. <laughs> but I no, always I start know. with the words. Really? Yeah. It's hard that way. Yeah. And well, not if you're a writer first and yeah, a musician true. second, <laughs> yeah. then it's easier. I don't know. Now that was a chord melody. This is another chord melody, but I'm throwing a bass in here now. My arrangement. Okay. Hear the bass? Mm hmm. So you have the melody going on with the chord. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind so of cool. what do all the dials do? The dials, oh, these as things. long as we're so yeah, these, for tone. Okay. Different tones you can get. Like, well, you could hear the difference with this. That's you know, okay. this is a little more treble. This is deeper. Okay. You can hear a deeper mm -hmm. sound. A little more treble. Mm -hmm. And this is more for like you know rock. The style. Right. This is more for blues and stuff like that, like, um... There was, there was this uh, clapping tune. Okay. I, I got made a little mistake on that one, but that's okay. Ah, good enough. So but you can get fun. electric guitars that look more like acoustic guitars with the wood. Yeah, like this looks like my students when they come in, mm -hmm. they think sometimes they think this is a, an acoustic because it looks, it looks like an acoustic. Because it's wood like that as yeah. opposed to you know shiny maroon or something. Yeah. Or that sharp cornered edge thing. Right. Something right. like, looks like a lightning bolt. I yeah, know. that one. Yeah. You know, yeah, that one. That's hard to sit down with, though, because it's hard. You have to stand up with that one. Oh. That's kind of weird. Okay. And that's a hollow body. This is, this, you know. Mm -hmm. No, that's solid body. This is hollow body. Okay. Because, you know. Boy, there's lots to learn about guitars. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is this is about this is 1979. That's how long I've had it for. Really. Yeah. But the good, the funny thing is, look at this. <laughs> you know what that's from? Well, you can tell it's, it's well worn. worn. Yeah, it's from playing, you know, yeah. sweating and all that. You've taken off the varnish in the back. <laughs> yeah. See, the chords, like, like this is a G chord. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to play a G. Okay. Now you can play a G like this, like this, like this, like this. Those are all G chords. Mm -hmm. But when somebody's starting out, a eh? G, mm -hmm. you know, C. But you eventually get into chords like this. These are jazz chords. Using your thumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
if somebody were beginning, you know, wanting to take beginning piano lessons, piano, guitar lessons, yeah. <laughs> you, I'm just assuming you're an expert on everything no. here. <laughs> piano. Yeah. Um, if Not somebody piano. were going to be taking beginning guitar lessons and didn't have a guitar, they were saying they could start with an acoustic. That might be a little better than an electric, although some electrics yes. are easier to play. And what might it cost to have a beginner kit without spending a lot of money in case the person... I don't know, maybe 150 Okay, so that's not a major investment. No. I mean, buying a piano is a major investment. I have Keyboards are okay, yeah. but they're not quite the same. Yeah, the guitar's not that bad. Okay. I have some guitars in my studio, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes I have people come over just to check it out uh -huh. and see if they, they have a you know, free lesson they can use my guitar. Ah, uh -huh. And okay. see if they like it. Right. You know, well, see that's what stuff, good. you know. Yeah. Okay. But I teach them how to read music, mm -hmm. you know, improvising. You have a set of books that you use for, yeah. like, There's the like Alfred one, series um, or something? Mel Bay. I like Mel okay. Bay. Mel Bay, okay. Yeah. It's for the okay. note reading. Okay. Then all the other music, actually, I write out myself. Hmm. And I, I, have, you know, I Xerox them for the students because mm -hmm. it's easier okay. to re you know, read it really clear and stuff, the strumming patterns, the chords, and stuff like that, you know. Sounds I, like you do a very good job of tailoring your lessons to the individual needs, which yes, is good. Yes, that's what I do. Okay. And I try to, you know, like um, I have some students that come in and they want to learn how to, um, let's say, improvise. Mm -hmm. So I tell them what scales, this, uh, you know, off the chords progressions, mm -hmm. what scales you use and modes and stuff like that. Are these they people who that. already know how to play basic guitar? Yeah. And then want to go a, a step further and improvise on, you know, tunes Different. that are already written? Yes. Obviously. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, uh... But it's, then the beginners, I, some, sometimes what I do is I, I have over a thousand songs. That, that I, you've written? No, no, I wish I did. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, I, that I write out for the right. students that are, you that know. you know. That I know. So, which include yours. more than that. Yeah, okay. which includes my songs. That's still pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I would imagine I you would be very busy going to, yeah. performing at weddings and other events and things, fairs, festivals. Yeah, festivals. Yeah, all right. And um, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. Mm-hmm. And the songwriting part, I think, is very interesting that you can help people with that. Yes. I like, the, the words are kind of, the lyrics are a little rough sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. I'm always thinking music, though, mm -hmm. you know. And if they want to go to a bridge, of, let's say if they're writing a song and they want to mm -hmm. go to a different part of a song, mm -hmm. they should call it like a bridge. Somewhere to, Over the Rainbow has a bridge. Oh, yeah, that's a great song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that a, I could tell you what it is, but I know that I know. There's that an intro to that that a lot of people don't know about. Oh, uh, the whole intro to the song. Yeah, yeah. what is that? I, I, it's not a student bridge. Brought her, <laughs> yeah, that was an intro. Yeah. But a student brought that in, and I was mm -hmm. like, what is this? And he goes, that's over yeah. the rainbow. I go, you never hear that. Except West Town's chorus sang it with that intro once. Really? Which is how I learned that it had this whole intro that people never hear. I, There's I know. this whole I, part before it gets into it's the like song, a minute. over the rainbow. Yeah. It's like a minute. Yeah. And that song wasn't going to be in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. They're going to, that was weird. So see, something you've written could end up somewhere. Yeah, that would be great. That's very vague, but, you know, lots of potential there, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe some, like, movies or something. Yeah, really. You know? Play us something else. You know, we don't have yeah. a lot of time left, but okay. play something else that you wrote, even if it's one of the short, um, you know, 45 second see. or children's things or whatever. Well, I'm thinking of, um, I have written a lot of songs. But. About how many do you think you've written? There's a song I'm just writing recently. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've written about maybe 60 songs. Okay. Or 60 or 70. A lot. Yeah. And this one, I'm. I'm <clears throat> it's called Flowers for My Love. I have this feeling inside. It's something that I cannot hide. And every I like. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing flowers for my love mm -hmm. on a summer day. I like to see her smile. And when she tells me she's happy just to be with me, I'll let her know that I'll never let her go. Flowers for my love. My last song I wrote. That's just recent. really yeah. Wow, that is very nice. Oh, thanks. Cole. Yeah, but I like the melody that, that what I yeah. was writing it that one part. So now I just have to record it, which is mm -hmm. then you have to put it on you know all the instruments like the background. You know, I, 
Okay, now that's something we it haven't talked about. With your studio, instead of just teaching, you can also help people record? Like yes, if you've got I students, students who record oh, things. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I forgot about that. That'd I be, record people. Yeah. Like, you know, students and stuff Because like I bet that. you've got people who want to make little presents for relatives yes. or something like that or yeah. surprise somebody with a little song they've written. Well, that's yeah. a wonderful thing to have it, done. It is cool. Well, you really do cover all the bases here, well, Steve. Thanks, that's great. Um, thank you. <laughs> that is really <laughs> nice. Fun. Thanks. And yeah, so, so you've got the um, equipment in order to put in violins and the other yes, things as well. Yes, I have, um, it's a six, 16 tracks, you know what that is, okay. like different, Vaguely. Yeah. it's pretty good. And mm -hmm. then I also have, um, well like this song, I'm going to put the bass line on, mm -hmm. drums, mm -hmm. um, other guitar parts, background harmony, mm -hmm. and a guitar solo. And nice. I'm going to finish this, that one. Nice. That one I and then when you do a song like that, how do you promote it? I mean, very briefly, do you know how to well, get it out iTunes. there? I, I have okay. my songs on app, like okay. the children thing, that, okay. that was um, Happy Fun Day, mm -hmm. that was on Apple, okay. iTunes, and did a lot of downloads and stuff with the Funny Bunny Dance and Billy the Bumblebee, uh -huh. that was fun. That. And uh, that's what I think I'm going to do with this one, okay. or the other songs I wrote. I want to put them all on a CD, mm -hmm. you know, maybe like 20 of them. Mm -hmm. Are you a member of ASCAP then? No. Okay. But I, I get them all copyrighted and all stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess the, through... Uh, Apple, I guess I might be. Apple iTunes, I think. Hmm. I think you probably, that's probably something yeah. you should check out, if only to be able to help your students, right. you know, to know about that part of it, too. But mm -hmm. otherwise, it really sounds like you're the complete yeah. package. Oh, thank you. Boy. Oh, and I it love, was I love guitar. an life. interesting conversation because there were things I didn't know to ask that we just kind of stumbled across while we were talking here, like, <laughs> oh, you do this, too. The recording. Interesting, yeah. yes. And so. I, yeah. So hopefully I could just finish them off. It's hard to record because you have to go back and, you know. Make everything yeah. perfect, yeah. as perfect as possible. And yeah. yet it's great that you can do that. I mean, there's something about a live performance when people know that, you know, that's, it's happening right then with yes. all, any little flaws or differences or anything else. But the recording is good in another way because then it can be polished and perfect polished, uh, and for posterity. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's the problem. Great. Yeah. You know, you go back and you hear something, you know, and you want to get it perfect. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's hard to it's, do that. It's a good thing, though, yeah. too. Yeah. Get back to harmonies and stuff. And yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming and sharing all of this and this for playing fun. as much of, as you played. <laughs> that was wonderful. It's always great to have music on the show. Thank you. And good luck with your career, your multifaceted you. career. And we can put your, you wanted to mention your phone number quickly? Or? Yes, it's 630 887 0960. Okay, and we can put any information like that in the credits too. Sure, okay, and um, happyfunday.net would be a nice okay. place to see my bio and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I, it really, if they if they're interested in guitar, you come mm -hmm. in for a free lesson. Wonderful. Okay, great. thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please join me again for future episodes of Today's Tidings. Mm -hmm.